basically this is to show you how to fix an access camera or any of those access cameras that are wireless where it shows unable to retrieve stream so basically you need to do a little configuration and it's not that bad but i want to show you one step at a time now for most of us we probably forgot the user id and a password that's something you may have to reset it but i want to just show you a couple of things what you need to do in this demonstration i'm adding what it's called advanced ip scanner and this is only is needed if you have no access to access ip utility finder because without it you won't be able to know where is your ip address of your camera in case you forgot but of course you need your user id and a password to fix the stream so the first one is only if you do not have the utility for access i hope that helps you guys out thanks one it's called access ip utility and we're going to type in access uh, ip utility download if you go over here um, type it in but i just want to see if i can find it that way access companion station tools and there's access companion there's access ip utility and you could just download it i think that's the best thing and you go down here and you download it for free once it's being downloaded it come up here and you would just look for the ip addresses now with this thing unable to retrieve stream it's most likely it's an ip camera and if you could over come down here it says wv wireless so that's the one so this is how i show you how it's being done so once you find it you double click it and you put your user id and a password right once you put your user id and a password um it would show something like that you see what it shows here stream adder right so what you need to do is you bring your mouse to settings you click on it and you just go directly to stream and in here i would suggest dynamic fps and a dynamic gop you turn them both on for now all right so you go over here and see where it says compression you may have to put a little bit lower like uh i don't know 21 okay and let's see if we can refresh it what i will usually do uh once i do that i like to um what do you call it to reboot the camera and the way to do it another thing is you see where it says resolution you may want to help it out let's just bring it a little bit down 1280 by 720 that's another thing once this is all done what i would do i would go over here um system maintenance and restart and say yes once you do that it's going to take a while to come up and let's see what the camera is going to show so it's something to do with streaming now if you go to here see how it's changing already if i want to show you something here on my other what's happening here see what's shown it's looping around it's basically it's trying to come up because i already made the changes i restarted it. it's going to show disconnected that's fine just wait and there you see this is the one where it shows see how it shows still disconnected it's, it's still going to come up it's still coming up guys so just be patient the system see how it's showing still updating so it didn't take effect yet so it's going to take time um for the settings to take effect all right so there's nothing much i can do other than just wait so right now it's showing me where it shows live stream unable to live stream so you could see my whole kitchen obviously whatever's on it you could see it now it's clear so i hope that helps you guys out